In our last video, we learned about packaging as a whole, the different types of packaging, the different elements of packaging, and the best practices a seller must adopt while packing non-food items for delivery. In this video, we will learn about internal packaging, the different types of internal packaging, a few generic guidelines, as well as guidelines for packaging relevant to the food and beverage category. While shipping products in an external packaging box, in many cases, a seller will have to add internal fillers or packing material to prevent products from moving around during shipping and getting damaged. Internal fillers help give extra cushioning and stability to the packet. There is no one-size-fits-all guideline for this. There are different types of internal packaging materials available to a seller. This chart is a broad guideline for using inner fill materials for packaging. And each of these materials has a unique advantage. Bubble wrap helps protect fragile products of any shape. Thermocol is light, it does not add much to the weight of the package, and is best suited to protect flat surfaces or fragile products. Cardboard pieces are good for separating multiple fragile or small items. Craft paper is a versatile and flexible infill. You can easily rip it into whatever size you need or crumple it to fit any infill needed. Foam or thermocol balls are flexible and can be used for different product sizes. Air pillows do not add much weight to the package, saving on logistics costs. If your intent is to fill a void in your packaging, then craft paper and foam or thermocol balls are best suited for the job. If you intend to keep a separation between items inside the packaging, then bubble wrap or cardboard pieces are suggested. If the task is just cushioning, then obviously everything besides cardboard pieces or craft paper is what you need. There are a few other guidelines to be followed while dispatching different kinds of products. For pointed products, we suggest you wrap them in multiple layers of bubble wrap. For fluids, Ensure you tighten the caps properly, seal in plastic sheets, and seal with tape. For fragile items, add multiple layers of bubble wrap. Use strong external packaging, label the top side of the package, and label with a fragile item sticker. Food products have their own set of packaging guidelines. There are additional elements in the food and beverage category which make it unique from a packaging perspective. There are packages in the food and beverage category which are ready to make and are packed in the restaurant and not machine packed. Here it is important to seal all the lids with tape to ensure no spillage in transport. Food has an element of temperature, hot or cold. The packaging must take care of not just the protection but also maintaining the temperature of the food product as required. Insulated containers or ice packs can be used. Also, the seller needs to ensure that hot and cold products are separated. The shipped product will be consumed, hence it is suggested that the packaging material is appropriate for food items. And please ensure your packaging is in compliance with FSSAI and other legal guidelines. That's it. With that, we come to an end of this session on types of internal packaging material and the best use cases for each type of material. We learned about the different kinds of infill material, guidelines relevant to certain kinds of products, as well as guidelines for food and beverage related internal product packaging. Identifying, tracking and rectifying packaging related damage issues are important for a seller to reduce damages incurred in delivery. Know more about this in our next video on this topic.